Good morning, YouTube. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. So, let's get right into it. I have some great, great news. Yesterday, um, I received my 10 Most Distress Inc. The Spring Edition. Awesome, awesome. Not only did I receive the Spring Edition Inc., I received the refills as well. So, refills for the spring, fall, and winter. Um, and I picked it up at uh, MarcusPaper.com. Um, it was a sale, so you would get you know the ink pad and the three refills for about forty nine ninety nine. Um, shipping is about five ninety five. So, um, RJ, if you are watching this, I'm just letting you know that this is where I picked the ink up from. You were asking about that, about the ink. So. Um, Marcos Paper is where I got it from. And the shipping is not too bad. I mean, I don't know how it is. I know for New York it wasn't that bad. It was 5 95 So, um, without further ado, this is the Distress Ink Spring Edition. Awesome, awesome, awesome colors. Like, I cannot, you know, stress that enough how awesome the colors are. Um, so, besides that, I mean, I got some other news. So, let me just get right into it. What does that got to say? I've been working on this book for quite, for quite some time. So this is another Kathy Ortiz um, mini mini album, but this is the envelope series that she has it on her channel. So um, I'm gonna, without further ado, I'm gonna show you what it is. So this is what it is. This is my niece. This is my niece's mini album. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I love it. It took me a couple of days to do, and I combined two tutorials with this album. I combined it, the build the page concept, and the mini envelope album series. So let me show you what it what it is. I used for the binding, I know a lot of people use fabric, and um, they use sometimes duct tape. <clears throat> Me personally, I prefer canvas. And I'm gonna tell you why. Canvas is pretty sturdy. You know, it's not it's not um it's not terrible as far as you know pulling it, as far as I know of. Um, and it's very you know, fabric is kind of, it's not, it's not as heavy, it's not as thick, you know, unless you sew two pieces on, you know. As far as denim, you know, I, I tried denim before. Um, I'll definitely show you the different bindings that I'm talking about. So, for the other mini album I did prior, and I haven't completed it yet, it's still, still not done. You know, I was working on some other stuff. See, this is the denim one. You see, the denim one is kind of, you know, it's not, it's kind of, flimsy, you know, it doesn't have, it doesn't, you know, there's kind of no support, that's the word, there's no support, so there's no support in that, in that one per se, so, but this one, canvas support, you know, you know, um, very firm, very tight, tight fitted, and, you know, it still leaves that, it still gives me that, that space if I want to add some embellishment, so I still have that kind of space, so, Let's get right into it. Um, I pleated the ribbon, all right, and I um, I figured out how to do this without sewing from Pivot Tray Inks' um, channel on YouTube, which was, I mean, I think they I think the tutorial was pretty awesome with the pleating ribbon. It's pretty simple. I just kind of never know about it. So this is the front cover. I wonder if I can put it towards the opposite. I think it's opposite if I put it. I can't really tell, you know, pardon me, the light's kind of bright. So, um, yeah, basically this is it. So, this is the cover, canvas. I took, um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, um, Seedless Preserves from the fall, from the fall edition. Um, sprayed it with some, um, acrylic, 
acrylic adhesive to give to me or make the canvas kind of hard and then I sprayed some um, some spray adhesive on top of that and added some some recollections glitter, some multi-stool glitter. I got kind of had the purple glitter, made it pretty good. Then this ribbon I got from Walmart a while ago. It's a Disney ribbon. Um, and the theme was princess, so that's why I kind of kept the theme of what it was. So stamp it up flower. Now, think about this. Like I said, I'm about I'm about recycling. This is from a Payless shoebox. That's how I got the princesses. I didn't, you know, I do draw, but I didn't draw them. I just, you know, took my nest abilities, spellbinders, and ran through my big shot to get this shape. And then I did another oval frame behind it. And then I laminated. I mean, not laminated. I used acetate. That's some glossy acid accents to get this kind of um, laminated effect. Then I have my, you know, you can think of do stamps as far as. Um, what I used to stamp it. So this is called uh, rosewood stamps. You can think of do clear. The paper line I use for this is die cuts with a view, baby girl. Now I don't know if it's still in circulation, but I know Michaels sells it. So um, I know Michael sells it. So um, let me let me tell you what it's about. So here it is out of the cover. And like I said, it's the envelope mini combined with the builder page tutorial. So here we go. Open it up. Baby girl, die cuts with a view collection. So you have the you have the you know stripes here, green here, <clears throat> green here, pink again. So the colors I mixed was green, pink, and I believe um, some orange. Another pocket, pocket here, pocket here. That's a tag. So there you go. You can flip it, turn it over again. Get um, photo mats here, back and front, back and front. Trompo to give it that effect. Pretty nice. I mean, like I said, this one I took some. I mean, I love this album. I mean, it's so much way better than, you know, as far as any other album. I think I've really done an awesome job. So, um, here we go. This is the part where the builder page comes in. I only did one because, like I said, I was playing with it and messing with it. So, it flips up. Okay, you got your pocket here, and um, and then you have your top part here. Now, in the builder page, before I talk about before I do talk about the next step, in the builder in a in the mini album envelope series, Kathy put some trim here. I did not. I got rid of the trim and I completely glued it on the bottom. And I'm gonna show you my. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I completely glued the bottom, so I sealed it. No, no, um, no trim lace. I mean, it probably would look nice, but I, I want, I want, I want this whole. I actually want this whole full, you know, um, five, five, five inches by four, and maybe I think I'm gonna say five eighths space for photos. You know, I really don't want to cover anything by lace, which which is fine. You know, it's, it's all about choice. So. This is the this is the builder page, the concept. So here it is. You got the side loading pocket, and then you have the top loading pocket. See what I mean? So you got the you got the, you got the top, you got the side. And this is what made this so dope, you know. At the same time, because you got both photo mats. You actually have three. You have one, two, three, and they all fit your four by six photos. And you still have that space now. If you don't want to cover that paper, that you know, we got if you use a nice pattern of paper, then you can leave that part blank if you like to. It's, it's all by choice, all options. So side loading, top loading. And then we move on to the next. Then you have the, then you have this again. So if you notice, I kind of coordinated everything together. So you got your photo mat. So 
Go back in here. So, and again, boom, boom. I, haven't, I didn't finish matting this one. So I have the papers right next to me. So, boom. Then again, pocket here, top loader here. And I distressed it a little bit just to get rid of the white core. I used the Tim Holtz, you know, black set to distress it. I didn't use Vintage Photo. I mean, I, I could have, but it wouldn't have went. It wouldn't have went so good with these colors. So again, pink and green. Let me call it one, two, matte. Okay. Now that being said, um, this is it. You know, it's, it's like truly. It's really awesome. I don't, I don't know which angle you guys are getting it, but hopefully it's showing up in the camera. So this is one, and I and I this is one of the best mini albums I've ever done, and literally fully completed. But on top of that, I have something else to show you. So here's the next surprise. This mini album per se is another one I did. This one's called Dream, Love, Wish, and Nightmare. Now, I'm almost done with this album. This is my, you know, this is, this is actually one of my first ones besides, this is my first mini envelope album besides the one I did, um, the creative page, the one that showed for Mother's Day. Now, this one, what I'm gonna do is when it's done and it's complete, I'm gonna give it away. So I'm giving this one away. So I, um, I guess I'll do it based on, I'm going to say it like this, um, I'll, I'll, I'll make it real simple. So the first 25 comments I get, I'll mail it out to that person and then they'll get it for free. So this is a giveaway, All right, This is the first one I ever did, ever mini mini envelope album and I'm gonna give it away so the first 25 comments I receive on this actual channel on this actual on this actual um post first 25 comments the first the, you know the first 25 comments I received so when I received 25th comment then you know, I will send it out. Now, you only can comment one time. So you comment one time, then you add it in, you enter the drawing. Now, based on the comment, you know, it's how I'm gonna do my, it's how I'm gonna do it. So the first 25 people that comment, once I reach that 25 number on the comment section, I will definitely respond to your comment I'll give you. I'll send you a, a private comment. We exchange ad. We exchange. We exchange addresses, and I will ship it out. I will pay for the shipping. I will pay for the shipping. So, this is dream, love, wish, and nightmare happen. So there it is. This is a canvas back again. This is the first time I actually did a canvas back, and I didn't use any. Glitter out and using the acrylic to get it hard. It's actually just a, you know, the, the the canvas part. I still have to finish adding the mat, the mat, the mats and the envelopes and the tags. So that gives me more time to finish it up, and then, you know, then I'll send it out and it'll be done. So here it is. You have Chow Bella, Chow Bella paper, the cover. Now, I don't know which papers I used. I used so many. I know I used Once Upon a Time by Dicus for the review. I know I used um, some other papers, some recollection papers. I know I used Dicus with a view Tattered Time, which is by far the best paper. So, let's get into it. So, you open it up. I got the Timo's hinge. I'm, making, I'm actually making a, a, a closure for this. So, you got the edge. Open it up. 
All right? And then you got the envelope here. See what I mean? So I did the I did the background and stuff like that on this. So like I said, I'm not done matting it. I'm not done completely. So then you have the inner pocket here. We have this. All right? Then you have Dream. So the butterfly, the boner, the portrait, the clock. And again, this sheet of paper. I have not matter yet. Then you have the love section. Oh gosh, like I can't even stress that enough. Let me turn it this way, because I don't know if people could. I don't know which view I can actually get people to see it. I mean, this right here is crazy. So, love, right? Boom. Boom. So, boom. Then you got the Paris, you know, the Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Now, this is what I was talking about. See the lace on the bottom? This right here? This is what I was talking about. You know, you leave a little space so you can stick, like, you know, little photo things in there. Like I said, this was the first one I did, so I kind of followed the exact actual tutorial of what it was. And I did a double sided. So, you know, you have that pocket space here, that tag space, the pocket here. And actually, you know, I, for, I guess for this album, it kind of fit for what I was doing. And again, you have the love section. Boom. Boom. Now we come into the wish section. We got the fairies. We got the butterflies. I think I might have used some Mariposa from Dykes for the View. So, Mariposa is, oh my gosh. Mariposa is not sold in Michaels. I've never found it in Michaels. Mariposa paper is in Joann's. Joann's online in Joann's, they sell it. In the store in Joann's, they sell it. I don't know about Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, but I know Joann's sell the Mariposa paper. So Mariposa is the paper. Is the, it's just all about butterflies. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. And I think I bought about two stacks and two matte stacks. This is a beautiful paper. So that being said, again, you know, it's based for journaling, for writing, and then again, the pockets. Understand? So, this is what I mean. See this hole right here? That's when you don't add that lace. Right? So, that's the lace here. Right? And this is that whole part I was talking about. So, you can actually literally put your hand, your arm, like literally through it until you, you know. But what I did was I glued it inside. You know, a little edge of hot glue, and that's it. So, here it is again, the envelopes. And, you know, I didn't matter yet. And once again, we're still in the wish stage. All right? Boom. Boom. This is still die cuts with a view. I just don't know which paper it is. And again, it's not sealed, you see? Not sealed yet. Boom. Matt stack. Then we go into Nightmare. Oh, like I said, die cuts with a view. Tattered time one of by far the most ever best papers I've ever seen from Dykes with a view. I'm sorry, real vintagey, real antique gears, clocks, you know, just just a beautiful paper. I mean, I think the next video, I, the next video I load up, I would definitely actually show the paper so you could actually see, you know, what it is. But you know, it's an amazing, amazing paper, amazing, amazing paper. So here it is, you got Nightmare. The gears, the clocks. Boom. Boom again. You got the apple. I mean, got the, you know, if you can see it, I mean, that's the apple towards me. But I kind of have it towards everybody so people can see it upright. So, okay, you got the apple. So, I mean, it kind of, you know, scary things that are that kind of nightmare, you know? So, boom. You know, then you have this, the dripping blood, fear me, you know, which I embossed, which is pretty, pretty intense, pretty dope. So once again, boom, the moon, boom, wolf, whatever, you got the witch, you know, crazy, you know, which one was it about, awesome. Now this paper, this paper that, I'm, that, that I got this from was a paper stack, I know it's, I know it's Wizard of Oz something, like I said, the next video I'm going to show a couple of you know my papers and stuff like that, but this right here, this, I'm not done, not done, yeah, I'm not done mass stacking, I'm not done. So like I said, I used broken 
China um, and uh, vintage photo for this. So, um, like I said, I'm giving this one away. I'm definitely going to give it away because, you know, this is my first one and, uh, you know, and it actually came out good. It was some, you know, minor setbacks and mistakes, but you learn from your mistakes. I mean, I mean, look, I went from this canvas to this, you know, like I, I went from, you know, great. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I did a pretty well of a job as far as like how I started from here to here. Like I said, you know, you know, this one is this one will be a giveaway. You know, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll give this one definitely away. So, um, that being said, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Um, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. I want to thank, um, you know, I want to thank. I actually want to thank Debbie because she was the one that gave me the suggestion. Because you know, the the first. The first two videos I did, you know, she was saying that, you know, she saw a lot of my background, not much of the table. So what I did was I moved my table up so you could see more of my table and stuff like that. So she, you know, she told me about it, which was great. And I took that advice. So once again, I want to thank everybody for whether you're viewing it, whether you leave a comment, whether you have likes, whether you subscribe to my channel, thank you, you know. Um, this has been a great experience for me, per se. And um, everybody out there, keep keep scrapping. You know, keep doing those things, giving, like, giving advice to people and, and letting people know. So as of right now, Scrap or Mail is signing out. And I will talk to you guys soon.